For any of you out there today watching with a hearing loss, you'll understand perfectly when I say that the biggest challenge that my patients report with their hearing is when they're surrounded by background noise, such as in a busy restaurant, for example. Yes, hearing aids with built-in noise cancelling can make a huge difference, but there will still potentially be certain circumstances when hearing aids alone just don't help enough. Not being able to hear in these environments can then lead to frustration, it can lead to not getting involved in conversations, and then in worst case scenarios, actually withdrawing from certain social activities that you really enjoy doing. And so today's video is exactly why I love my job, because every day I work with tech that can help to overcome some of those challenges born from hearing loss. And believe it or not, there are definitely things that we can do to help to improve your ability to hear in background noise. So today I'm talking Roger On, and not just any Roger On, this is the new Roger On version 2, which was just released in June 2023. It has some additional benefits over and above those in Roger On version 1, which I'll cover in great depth in today's video. As I get started, guys, if you like what you see, click on that subscribe button to make sure you're updated with any of my new videos. In my opinion, out of all of the accessories that are available today from all hearing aid manufacturers, and as you can imagine, there are many, the Roger On is the most versatile out there. Why? Well, it's essentially five different accessories rolled into one, and I therefore feel it provides the best value for money for any accessory available to date. So let's do a deep dive into exactly how it works and exactly what those features are. You can see here that it's a sleek design which fits neatly in the palm of your hand. It measures 10 centimeters long, two and a half centimeters wide, and it weighs next to nothing. To be honest, there's not really a lot to it, which is kind of what you want as all of the features are automated. Working across the top here, you'll notice four separate microphones. These are configured differently depending on which mode the Roger On is in, which I'll cover in detail in a second. There's an LCD screen in the center here that displays exactly which mode you're in using a series of different symbols that are pretty easy to follow. Here in the center, you'll notice the round function button, which is slightly depressed and big and easy enough to press when you need to, but not so big that you're likely to press it by accident. At the bottom, there's a USB-C charging point, which takes about three hours to fully charge. And one thing that I like is that if you forget to charge it one day, then an hour on charge will charge it to 80% of its capacity. Once fully charged, from my experience, it will last around eight hours of full streaming. Now, as you're unlikely to have it constantly streaming to your hearing aids for those entire eight hours during the course of a day, you should find that it's good for a whole day's use. Here's a simple on and off switch on the side with a green indicator to let you know when it's on. Then on the back, a pairing button, and finally the lapel clip for someone to clip it onto their shirt. And you know what, going back to my first point, I actually think that they look pretty cool. And it also looks nothing like you would expect from a hearing aid manufacturer. So the big question for me is, does that potentially mean that if a hearing aid technology doesn't like we see splashed all over the news articles and blog posts written by people that have absolutely no idea about hearing aids, then perhaps people may start being more comfortable with the idea of wearing hearing aids. I really do hope so. So good job, Phonak. So that's the physical side of things covered. Let's run through the five Roger On version two features and exactly where my patients find it useful. Starting with my favorite feature, we have the table mode. Now we all know how difficult it can be in a busy restaurant, especially if there's a lot of noise going on around you. And you could potentially have somebody on a table next to you, which is sat closer than the person that's furthest away from your own table. So of course your hearing aids have got a tough job and are likely to struggle to know what you want to hear versus what you don't want to hear. In this scenario, I would recommend placing the Roger on as close as you can to the people that are sat furthest away from you so that the voice of that person speaking only has to travel to the Roger on rather than all the way to your hearing aids. Phonax Multi-Beam 2.0 technology then analyzes your environment hundreds of times per second and automatically compares the speech and noise arriving to the microphone array. It then chooses the direction with the best signal to noise ratio recognizing where the speech is coming from and then delivering the cleanest speech signal directly to both of your hearing aids. And then, which can I add, I absolutely love, it delivers the sound to you in the same direction that it actually arrives to the Roger On, giving you the same surround sound sensation based on where the person sat relative to where the Roger On is positioned on the table. 
meaning that not only you'll be aware that somebody's speaking, but also the direction that their voice is coming from. Now, don't forget, this is only one of the features that this has. Pretty cool, eh? Moving on to the presenter mode, the Roger on will automatically recognize which mode it needs to be on based on whether it's lying horizontally on a table, hanging around your neck using the lanyard, or clipped onto your shirt. And it will automatically adjust its setting accordingly. So next up, when you're in a one-to-one -one situation and it's placed around someone's neck like this, it will again send the sound of that person's voice directly to both of your ears. Now, the closer it is to their mouth, the more effective it will be. So if it's sat here, for example, about six inches from my mouth, then it's a little bit like me being six inches from one of your hearing aids. In fact, it's actually sending to both of your hearing aids as well. The furthest distance that Roger will work is around 25 meters. So you really are limited by your imagination as to where you feel this might benefit you. To share my experiences, I have a couple of patients that give it to their opponents in a tennis match, some that hand it to their instructors for various activities such as yoga or Pilates, which is pretty interesting as they can't always be in a position to see the lips of the person speaking. And I've mentioned this before in my videos, I've even had people putting them in their baby strollers so it's easier to hear them when they're pushing them along. Out of curiosity, if you wear Roger on already or you're keen on it, where do you think that it would be the most effective for you? Let me know in the comments beneath this video. Incredible feature number three on the Roger on version two is its pointing mode. I've already described how useful this can be in a restaurant when you're sat around a table, but of course, there'll also be times where you're in noise and not sat around a table, so have nowhere to be able to put it down. Fear not, however, because Phonak have also thought about this with their pointing feature. This feature is not only unique to the Roger on, but it's also unique to Phonak. And very simply put, if you hold the Roger on in your hand in a noisy environment, say a cocktail party or the interval at the theatre, and then point it towards the person speaking in front of you, it will automatically switch into pointing mode 2.0. This feature utilizes the row of the three microphones and narrowly zooms into the person speaking in front of you, cutting out the surrounding background noise. Now, the good thing is it doesn't have to be pointed out in front of you like Harry Potter trying to cast a spell to ward off evil spirits. But it can be discreetly pointed towards individual people speaking and should specifically focus on somebody in front of you amongst the cacophony of sound around you. Feature number four is the media mode. The Roger On is supplied with both a Toslink, a three and a half millimeter jack and a docking station, allowing you to connect it to most multimedia devices, ranging from your cell phone, TV, stereo or computer. All that you need to do is to plug the device into the audio output from one of those devices and it streams the signal to both of your ears. And this doesn't affect the sound for anybody else listening to it. So instead of also having to buy the Phonak TV connector, this device can be used to serve that purpose too. Plus, whilst it's sat in the docking station connected to the TV, it's simultaneously being charged. If you haven't come across the power of a TV streamer, I would 100% recommend checking out this video, which tells you exactly what they do and how they can completely change your experience when watching the TV. Now the fifth and final feature, which is the feature that wasn't built into Roger on version one, is the new headset mode. This is designed for when you're logged on to any online meeting, and that's whether it's on Skype, FaceTime, Teams, or Zoom, or any of the others, and you want to hear anybody speaking directly through your hearing aids. Plus, it acts as a microphone to be able to pick up your voice too. Now, if you're thinking, come on, Matthew, we can do this already using our Bluetooth connectivity to a computer, right? You are absolutely 100% correct. And I posed that very same question to Phonak when I heard about their new headset feature and I've come up with three potential scenarios when direct Bluetooth connectivity may not be ideal and using the new Roger On features may just be better. Firstly, if you hot desk at work moving from computer to computer and need a plug and play option, it means you don't have to mess around with the Bluetooth settings every time you change computers. Secondly, depending on your computer, I have the occasional feedback that there can sometimes be issues with the stability of the Bluetooth connection. As this device is hardwired, those connectivity issues shouldn't be something that you need to worry about. Thirdly, in an open plan office, it's possible that the hearing aid microphones will pick up too much background noise of what's going on around you, making it difficult for people on the other end of the call to be able to hear your voice amongst everything else. That microphone array that I was talking about before should be able to help to filter out the rubbish that's going on around you and just send your clear and pure voice through. 
One final thing to mention is the fact that when you're connected to your Roger on, you can also connect the Roger on to the Roger mic app and you can control it via your smartphone. Now, this isn't essential and nor do I have many patients that use their Roger on in this way, as most people just want the simple option of being able to take it out of their pocket or bag, switch it on and put it on the table or use it in any of the ways that I've described today. However, if you did want to have it working with your smartphone, it allows you to manually override the focus of the microphones, i.e. to the left or the right. You can also change the microphone mode between the modes that we've discussed earlier. You can mute the sound and check the microphone status and battery level. So guys, I think it's pretty clear why I'm a big fan of the Roger On, because not only does it have its own features, but it also covers the roles of plenty of other accessories too. So you can have one piece of kit that can help you to hear in a ton of different listening situations. If you made it this far in today's video, then you will 100% enjoy one of these two tech videos. So be sure to check them out today. And if you like today's video, press like. If you have any questions or comments, then ask away. I do like to get back to as many people as possible. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.